burns me a lot. Why? I feel like when our marriage is not going well and strong, then the kids are suffering. I was really upset. I locked myself in the bathroom and I was crying. I put a knife on my hand, didn't actually cut it or anything, and didn't draw blood. I needed my mom and dad to know, but I didn't, I don't know, it sounds like I did it for attention. I know that River does struggle with smoking, drinking, and marijuana. My 22-year-old son the other day, he never answered his phone, he's missing for two days, we don't know where he is. And in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, he drove out in the desert and put a bull in his head. I'm just worried about the kids overall. Well, Michelle says her supersized family of 12 children, going on 13, is full of problems from addiction to clutter to finances. But many of the children feel neglected and say their mother is always busy nursing, being pregnant, YouTubing, or paying the bills. And their father is just a man that lives in their house who they don't really know. Um, now, as I say, we've asked the children lots of questions, and in doing so, we've found despair in a lot of these children. Um, and River, you yourself have said that, that you know, you've had suicidal thoughts. Um, are you aware that some of your siblings have as well? Yeah, most definitely. Here's a statement from 13-year-old Ozias. He says, I know why I have depression. My parents are gone and occupied a lot. My mom has to pay a lot of bills. She does a lot of YouTube. She's pregnant, so it's hard. The reason I put the knife on my hand was a cry for help last week. My way of letting them know I need more one-on-one -on -one time. Um, well, what I want to say is that, you know, when a, when a mom's on a telephone call and the, the kids, you know, they can be busy and doing all their fun things that they do. The minute you're on the phone, they want your attention. Any mom knows that. That's just normal. You're trying to use the restroom. They're going to knock on the door. I literally spend maybe 30 minutes to do bills. I go through them. I have a system. I go really fast. I spend about 30 to 45 minutes a day on doing a YouTube. I'll do a 15-minute video edit it real quick or uh, put the tags and stuff on it, make sure that, and then post it, and then I'm done. But when I'm cooking in the kitchen, why not talk to me then? Why not talk to me when I'm cleaning up? Why not? I'm not doing anything. Tuesday's got that figured out. Sunshine's got that figured out. When I'm working, just follow along with me because I'm just doing that. I'm just... So Sunshine, tell me what you're thinking and feeling right now. When you're showing, or when you're reading that quote from Mosias, I was just thinking about how awful that is, and I didn't hear about it, I didn't know about it, so it makes me really upset, but also just connecting with how he felt. It takes two minutes to walk in a room and say hello. I hate a text that says hello. Why can't you come say hi? I agree, I do. I just don't know what else to do. Like, I've tried really hard to do things right and make sure they have their clothes and make sure they eat and make sure that they, you know, I take them on dates and we just go out to dinner once in a while, just one of them at a time, sometimes two of them at a time, try to make them feel special on their birthday and take them shopping. I mean, I'm trying to reach out the best way I know how. I'm giving my kids more attention than I got. That doesn't make it okay. I mean, I'm a good parent, but if a good parent is causing kids to be depressed and be on drugs and still have all these problems, then what good is it? I need to be an extraordinary parent. So how do I get from being a good parent to being a better parent? We have this battle going on and I can't stop it. Well, you know what I do know is no matter how long you talk or how loud you say it, it doesn't change the way they feel. I agree. I also know that the downstairs of your house looks one way, mm -hmm. and the upstairs of your house looks another way. I agree. And to me, it's like the downstairs of your house is what you want to present to the world, and the